Hi, this is Chili Yomian and it's uh, Chili's Kitchen again. Uh, today, um, I'm going to film how I make the Cantonese uh, roast duck. Yes, yeah, so let's see what we need uh, as uh, ingredients. Oh, <laughs> before the ingredients. Um, if you like this kind of videos, um, please like the video. Um, uh, comment below and subscribe to our channel. So now we can go to the ingredients part. So first of all, of course, we need the whole duck and then some uh, salt, um, five spice powder, and then some. Sugar, yeah, on this side, it's sugar, yeah. So, let's take the duck out. Probably I should name it. Because last time when Onion uh, made the roast chicken, she named her chicken Barry. So I should name my duck as well. Okay, um, I don't know. His name is... Ducky? Ducky. I'm so creative. Okay, so first of all... Let's take a... So a huge chopping board. It's not that because I need to chop something, it's just to put the duck on. Yeah. So um after you take the duck out, you exercise this a little bit because it's been in the fridge. Use some kitchen paper to open to like dry the water on this on the, on the skin. So after you like dry dry the skin like take out the excessive water then you can like prepare the dry marinade so we have a how do you call this? measuring spoon here for one tablespoon so what you need is first of all one tablespoon of salt yeah one tablespoon of salt and then and then one tablespoon of five spice powder. Yeah. Then I will take half half tables half teaspoon of sugar. And then add in. And then you mix it. Use your hand. Just take. Oh, maybe just yeah. like spread it on the skin, and use your hand to like spread it all over the duck. Yeah, once I'm focusing on something, I, I, I can't really speak. I mean, in general, I can't speak, actually. But if I'm doing something, it's even worse. In Hong Kong, we have roast goose. It's so good. <laughs> it's like one of the first things I want to eat when I go back to Hong Kong. But here, they don't... Uh, eating goose is illegal. 
So, dark is an alternative for that. So, after one side is like fully marinated, then you turn to the other side, of course, and then just use the remaining like mixed uh, seasoning. And again, just spread it all over. Massage the inner part a little bit. It's really gross, the feeling. Yeah. <clears throat> Is that basically for the for for the first part? And then you put put it on a like a such a rack. You put the duck on. It doesn't matter which side or yeah, because what you have to do next is just putting it in the fridge to air dry. Now I'll put ducky inside the fridge to air dry. Yeah, so you have to air dry it for two hours. So now it's already two hours later, quite air dried actually. So now we can take it out. Smells so good. You need to marinate it inside of the duck. Like, yeah, so what we need is. What we need is first of all one um, tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, and then one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. <coughs> and then one tablespoon of cooking wine. One teaspoon of um, five spice powder, one teaspoon of sugar. Yeah, that's it, and then you just mix it well. You can pour it inside the duck and then just use your hand to like rub it all over. It's done, so you can see the sauce is like um, all over the, the duck. And then now, wash your hand again because it's disgusting. So now we need. Oh, I just took one out. We need two of these. I mean, can anyone tell me how do you call this? Um, like steak. Uh, we don't want to lose any sauce, basically. So what we are using, uh, what what we are doing now is using this steak to actually like seal. Just through. So you can see, like, I, I, I basically like close the hole. 
and on the other side as well. And at this moment, wash your hands again. <laughs> <clears throat> Then uh, you need to boil some cold water. And I already put water in, so. So the whole water is done, then you pour the whole water into a big pot. But you don't need to turn on the fire because it's already boiled. Some people they actually like uh, do one more step which is like blow air into the duck. But because I don't have the <clears throat> machine to do it, so I'll just skip this um, uh, step. But it will still taste good. Um, so what you have to do is you need to pour hot water on the skin. It's actually quite dangerous this step because the duck is actually very heavy. Oh god, hot. Yeah, so it's more or less like this. You can see like the color of the skin change to like a like more like yellowish. So then, which means it's okay. Oh, maybe one more time, yeah. yeah, and then now what you have to do is yeah. hang it here first. <laughs> Prepare a big, um, big container with uh, a cold water. Do it one last time, the shower, and then immediately you put the duck inside the cold water. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah, inside the cold water. Yeah, I don't have a big enough container, so I what I have to do is just to move it. Oh my god, I'm making a huge mess. So basically, all the difficult, I would say not difficult, like complicated steps are done. What you have to do now, now is actually put the duck onto a rack again. Okay. <laughs> you put the duck onto the plate with the rack and and then you just need to air dry the duck again but not, this time it's not just two hours but at least 24 hours so see you later ducky bye bye if you crave, what you have to do is make it yourself, right? So yeah, that's how I started. And I actually have another video that I made the char siu. That one is pretty easy. It's a easy and fast way to make the char siu. So uh, you can see the link over here in the video. So you can check out if you want to uh, like see how I make the chassis. 2001, so it's uh, the next day, I mean. Uh, so it's more than 24 hours now. Preheat the oven to... I use the fan and then to 220 degrees. And then... Meanwhile, you can prepare your baking tray. Which I'm going to use this one. And then, and then 
put some <laughs> aluminium foil. So just like this. And then you need some garlic, spring onions, and then some ginger as well. So like this and then you just like Ah! Showing. Okay, you smash the garlic like this. Like this, the smell of the garlic will come up more. Yeah, like this. Doesn't have to look nice. And then also the ginger, do the same. Put all these ingredients inside the duck. Take some aluminum foil again. And then it's just to, and then you just put, tear it in like small, smaller pieces because we want to cover the wing, the two wings. And because the duck is gonna stay inside the oven for more than an hour, so we don't want anything to get burned. And then also the the last bit of the of the leg. Just to put it on top of the baking tray. We let the duck uh, sit in the room temperature for fifteen to twenty minutes before putting it inside the oven. Now we can put it in. Just use the same temperature to to bake the, the the duck breast side up uh, for 10 minutes yeah we turn down the temperature to 170 degrees for uh, 20 minutes now and I want to say hello to Stenbi uh, because he asked me to do that. <laughs> so. Oh my god. We need to turn the duck to the other side. Back to the oven for another 20 minutes. We take off the aluminium foil that we covered. Turn it another time back to bread. Oh, <laughs> poor butt. <laughs> okay, so you need to turn it back to bread side up. We need to roast it for the last 20 minutes. I will take the rack one like to one layer up and then the duck back another 20 minutes then the duck will be fully cooked wow it smells really good and it looks really crispy um i wouldn't say it's very uh, difficult but quite time consuming so you can see I started preparing from yesterday I'm not going to show you how I chop it or whatever because I'm not professional I just want to show you how I make this roast duck I'm going to eat now see you in the next video bye bye